Hey guys, welcome back to Burns' Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to graph inequalities. So in our previous lesson, we learned how to write inequalities. So today we'll be applying that knowledge on number lines, and so we'll be graphing inequalities. So let's write an in, in inequality. So let's say that we have the inequality n is greater than 8. So in order to graph this inequality, the first thing that we need to see is our symbol, which is a greater than sign. Now remember this, if it's greater than or less than, so I'll write this rule off to the side. So if it's greater than or less than, the rule for these two is that it's going to be an open circle. And this will make more sense once I go ahead and do the graphing, okay? So if it's greater than or less than, it's going to be an open circle. And if it is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, it is going to be a closed circle or a shaded in circle. Okay, so our first example was n is greater than 8. So we have greater than symbol, so it is an open circle. So what we're going to do, it says greater than 8. So on the number 8, so here we have a number line, so we have negatives off to the left, our positives off to the right, and then we have zero in the middle. So eight is right over here. So we're gonna draw an open circle on eight, okay? And then we have to look at our symbol. So again, here is a um, kind of a hint. So if it is, look look at the direction in which, it's not the mouth, okay? So this, uh, where the point is directing, okay? So in this case, on the greater than symbol, the point is to the right. So what you're going to do is you're going to shade to the right. So you're going to start shading to the right. Now in this case, the number line kind of ends over here, but you're going to shade to the right. This is telling us that the N is the value of n is greater than the number 8. So it is going to be greater than the number 8. So it could go on for infinity, okay? So this was for this inequality, n is greater than 8. Okay, let's do another inequality. Let's say this time we have the inequality. I'm going to be graphing it on the same number line, but I'll be kind of color coding it so you know which one goes with which. So our next inequality is n is less than, let's say, negative 1. So once again, first we have to find our negative 1. So we have negative 1 here, and then we'll look at our symbol. So negative is still going to be, uh, less than, sorry, is going to be an open circle. So we're going to draw an open circle on negative 1. And then if we look at the point, the point is going to the left. So we're going to shade to the left. So everything that comes in the way, so that means the value of n could be anything less than negative 1. So it could go on for infinity because, of course, numbers never end. Okay, so this was our second example. Now, our third example, let's say we have n is greater than or equal to the number 4. So once again, we know that greater than or equal to is going to be closed circle. So look at the number. Our number is 4. So draw a closed circle on 4. That means we're going to shade in the circle. Okay, so this is an example of a closed circle. And then look at the point. It's going to the right. So we're going to shade everything to off to the right. So it's going to go anything off to the right. So that means the value of n could be anything uh, greater than or it could be the number 4. Okay, so it's telling us the value of the variable n. It's kind of giving us what it could be, the, uh, the um, scenario of where it could be. So it could be greater than or equal to or less than or, you know, whatever. Okay, so our last example is going to be, let's say we have n is, e is less than or equal to the number 2. So once again, we know that less than or equal to is going to be closed circle. So it's closed circle on the number 2 or shaded in, and then you're going to shade to the um, where the um, the point is going. So in this case, is going to the left. So we're going to shade everything off to the left. So it kind of really depends on your number line, how big it is. But once again, numbers are infinite, so it'll keep on going. So the value of n could be either 2 or anything less than the number 2. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned how to graph inequalities. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.